good morning students in today's class let's revise the topic planning planning is an essential element in every social activity uh, as we know it is what just preparation for action um, in administration it is an important task of management all other functions of management uh, what uh, uh, namely organizing directing controlling staffing these follow the path which is laid down by the planning the planning precedes all other functions of management without proper planning an administrative organization cannot effectively realize its objectives so we can say planning means what uh, is deciding in advance what is to be done how it is to be done and who whom it is to be done so it's very important then planning as we know the word planning is derived from a word prevoyance which means what looking ahead looking into the future so that is very important here then let's go for nature of planning first point here it is goal oriented goal oriented or we can say objective oriented planning is closely associated or related with which one uh, objective or goal of an organization uh, a plan which starts with the objective or uh, which starts with the setting of an objective and then develops policies procedures to achieve that objective if planning is not related to goal then it becomes an empty what mental exercise in that way goal oriented uh, planning is goal oriented it is related to goal goal uh, then future oriented second one planning means looking ahead looking into future so it requires future condition or future situation in which organization has to function so Uh, future oriented then third one selection of alternatives planning is a selective process uh, it involves what evaluating the alternative course of action available for achieving a particular objective and selecting the best alternative to achieve that objectives so that is what selection of alternatives then the fourth one it is intellectual process this planning is also what intellectual as well as mental exercise uh, it requires to make a plan we require or it requires what thinking reflection and analysis of information and judgment uh, the quality of uh, what planning varies according to the quality of mind of a manager then next one fifth one it is it is an interdependent and integrated process here planning coordinates the activities of different departments or sections and subsections it facilitates and integrates all the functions of management then flexible here uh, what planning is uh, uh, flexible it is said that it is flexible because um, uh, planning or the condition future condition of any organization we cannot think what in the present or in earlier uh, in, in pre uh, what uh, the condition of the future condition it may not be what it is said uncertainty will be there so uh, that are dynamic conditions are dynamic it may change so it is influenced by the number of facts like technological governmental policies overall economic activity social norms and attitudes so planning is flexible according to the needs and what uh, condition of the uh, organization we can change the planning next continuous planning there is no stop for planning there is no stop there is no end planning is a continuous effort or affair needs constant review and readjustment in the light of achieved targets and future possibilities so in that way it is a continuous and ongoing process then directed towards efficiency the main purpose of planning is to what increase the efficiency of the organization so that means planning directed towards efficiency 
then comprehensive it is what a universal it all it exists in all the levels of management then last one it is a means and not an end planning is not an end it's just a means a channel or it is a means to achieve that end the accomplishment of the accomplishment of the predetermined objectives of the organization so here uh, planning plays a very important role in the what organization so that this is about nature of planning let's go for the importance of planning first point under this importance it is primacy of planning planning precedes all other functions of management um, since managerial operations in organizing staffing directing and controlling are designed to support the accomplishment of the organizational objectives planning logically precedes the execution of all other managerial functions so all other functions of management are performed to achieve the objective which are set by the planning process so according to the uh, steps given in the planning all the other functions of management works in that way primacy of planning then it is an agent of change also it encourages planning encourages the reconstructive reconst change it forestalls change that is too rapid or too little considered it permits an organization not only to anticipate and prepare for change but to some extent select and shape the change also so it is an agent of change then the third one it reduces future uncertainty planning prevents an organization from being overwhelmed suddenly with new problems so Uh, it enables the administrators to assess the future problems and meet them as rationally as possible here the administrator who plans for change will be mentally conditioned and alert to make adjustment when time comes planning this gears the organization to take suitable action so that it is successful in achieving its objective so reducing future uncertainties planning is done so that is also one of the important uh, of importance of planning then fourth one focuses attention on organizational goal so here an organization has definite goals and objectives all the activities of organization are directed towards the achievement of those objectives sometimes people in the organization may not be specific about its objective because of lack of clarity and precise definition the focus is on organizational goal then ensures efficient use of resources planning reduces cost by what avoiding overlapping and wasteful activities of an organization it uses the resources in an efficient way then next facilitates the participation of employees and citizen in the affairs of administration it uh, what uh, takes the help of all the employees as well as the citizens in the affairs of administration then helps in coordination so there will be higher level authorities lower level authorities so planning what it makes it helps in coordination coordination uh, all managerial functions are there no? so here uh, all the managerial functions are coordinated under this planning then last one improves efficiency planning improves organizational effectiveness in several ways it ensures efficient use of all resources at the disposal of concern to achieve organizational objective planning states the objective of organization in the context of given resources so here planning is done to improve efficiency of an organization so we, these are all the importance of planning so uh, i hope you have understood the concept planning here its nature and as well as importance of planning thank you